I remember in Wakanir, which was my uh, paternal home, my grandmother, she had a puja room, which was also the vault, the room where all the, uh, you know, the jewels were kept. She would be doing her puja every day and I would be tinkering around uh, in the sanduks. They would have our future dowry. My sister had one, I had one. And then I would just spend the entire afternoon pulling out everything that was in it and there would be jewellery and trinkets and there would be silver and whether it was a locket, whether it was a ring, whether it was a bracelet, hand-me-downs from, you know, with a lot of sentimentality. My grandmother would wear a tulsi uh, mala and there would be this beautiful gold pendant with uh, inlay on it and it had a picture of my grandfather and her. And, Jewelry was, it was an integral part, I would say. I wouldn't say it was important, but it was an integral part of the day-to-day -day life of the women. Mm, I love my jewelry. I look forward to wearing it. This particular ring I'm wearing is, is special to me because um, it was my grandmother's ring. And before that, it was Marni Chimnabai's ring. So it's been passed down the Maharani's of Baroda. And it's odd because it just fits me. It's, it's a really tiny size. It stands for a lot uh, more than just a diamond, a natural diamond, and uh, comes with a lot of uh, lot of responsibility, a lot of goodwill, and a uh, lot of legacy. It doesn't fit my daughters. It luckily fits me. So it's just kind of you fit a role, you fit a you know you fit a ring. You have to get my daughters to squeeze their fingers in it, I guess. <laughs> I'm a product of of a series of acts of love. Whether it's my daughters who encourage me and support me when I travel or I take time out from them or my husband who fills in. Jewelry was for more serious occasions. That's how I looked at it because I, I lived a life in Delhi where I was in a, you know, in a public school. I was working as a journalist. So for me, jewelry was really had to be functional. I would rather do without it than have the stress of wearing an important piece and then losing it. When my girls look at jewelry and they just kind of get overwhelmed looking at it and says, Mama, we would never wear this. And I mean, look at it, it looks so over the top. Opposite of what I believe, because I feel these pieces are beautiful, they carry so much legacy and story and history. And I understand that they're not going to get much wear out of them, like I haven't, you know. The more informal pieces, you know, statement pieces or playful jewelry, I pick up those now more. And I see my children wearing them, my girls wearing them, getting a lot more wear out of them. A tradition, you know, a family recipe, it could mean a carpet, it could mean a, a letter for me to pass down to my daughters, the Raja Rai Varma paintings, the stories, the history, the etiquette. I want, of course, all of the legacy to be passed on, yet I want them to be able to be free of the legacy, to be able to be themselves and find themselves and lose themselves and and walk the path that they choose. You know.